bringing your awareness to every aspect of your daily life by number one looking at yourself am i needy you know when i come across someone that i'm attracted to am i needy am i coming from this needy energy okay that i really want their attention all the time pay attention to me pray attention to me am i operating from a needy place that's another thing am i being delusional am i making up stuff in my mind and imagining things are in that way or they're really in that way we have that in a spiritual community a lot a lot of people imagining they're getting downloads or they're being contacted from by beings from other spaces or dimensions but it's an ego that is tripping out it's an ego that's making up stories wanting to say i'm very spiritual and look at me and look at me i'm so advanced but i'm getting a lot of messages but when it comes to waiting for food and somebody is takes by mistake or purposely or whatever jumps in front of them and takes their spot they're ready to kill that person well you say you're very advanced in your consciousness and you have reached the buddha so then you should be able to even skip your meal and let other people eat your food and just go home hungry or sleep hungry one night you you've developed the heart you know you've become like mother mary you become the buddha it means you have developed a lot of compassion so you're willing to let go of yourself and your own needs for other people you're saying you you're very high up you're very advanced then how come over just giving up a sandwich or not you're you're ready to kill your fellow human being you understand what i'm saying are you with me very simple things on our our own human needs and our relationships with other people will reflect back to you where you're at very easy if you're willing to look at yourself now i'm not talking about you're looking at yourself and now you start blaming yourself all the time and that's the now the opposite part of it that the people who are just go into this up opposite from a denial place that they're denying anything is wrong thing and go into this other direction and their self they're going to this self blame continuous self blame that they're not worthy and they're not good enough and they're stupid and they're disadvantaged or blah 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 and they go deeply into that part so that's another issue that's another thing that you don't want to fall into because the raising your consciousness to a higher level is not going into this self blame it's going into this acknowledgement acknowledging your shortcomings and and being aware of it instead of being in denial now whether you can correct it or not that's a different story you may not even be able to correct it but at least you have awareness you're aware of it you're neither denying it nor blaming yourself you're simply aware of a shortcoming that means you also have 
change your consciousness and you've arisen into a higher frequency because the self-awareness mechanism has kicked in and you're looking at yourself. Look, if I'm continuously late, I'm gonna go have lunch with my mother, I'm late. I'm going to take my car to the mechanic to fix it, I'm late. I'm going to meet up with Shishi at my office over work, I'm late. I'm, I'm having a date, I'm late. I'm going to yoga class, I'm late. I'm continuously late and everybody is continuously complaining to me that you're late. Then, if I'm not looking at it, then I'm in denial. I'm denying. But if I start to look at it and admit it to myself that I'm always late. So is it a lack of commitment or it's a matter of control? Am I trying to control the situation by being late? What is it that everybody continuously tells me I'm late? So there must be a truth into it because there's a number of people telling me that. So it's worth for me to look, look into it and examine it. And by looking into it and examine it to see if there's any validity to it, there at that point, I am rising my consciousness. It's just giving you a simple example. Raising your consciousness doesn't mean that you went and did a medicine ayahuasca journey in Peru and while wow, you became one with everything in existence and you have an amazing oneness, but then next day you're acting like an asshole when you're in a restaurant and your food is a little bit late and you're just being an asshole to the waiter or waitress or everyone else around you then you are nowhere you haven't done anything raising your consciousness to a higher level means that that awareness is going to be in every aspect of your life not just one place, not just when taking medicine and feeling one with universe, is that when you're in traffic and you're stuck, and you're in a two hour traffic, you can still practice your meditation and you can still be calm and centered. Then you are working on yourself and you're raising your vibrations to a higher frequency, you're, you're raising your consciousness. It's the little things in life that matter and they show you where you're at with yourself.